Welcome back everyone, we've got a boss fight on our hands, this is part two of the scenario, um, something about Armageddon, Voice of the Armageddon, that's the name of the scenario. And uh, imminently we've got this Armageddon Imp powering out towards us. The Armageddon Imp's pretty slow actually, it's only got five movement points, and um, I think one valid strategy here could be just to let it get up here into the mountains, try and bait it up here somehow, um, and then just kill it. And uh, that is, I think, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use a bat for this purpose. So the Armageddon Nymph can reach that now, and I think it will be tempted. Um, worrying less at the moment about the purple player, because the purple player is further away and mostly, for the most part, has extremely slow units. Um, so first things first, I need to wrap up these fights on this side. Um, we've got a protector drone, and I could do with someone with better attack over here. Uh, Melkishar could get in there, but I'm going to need him in a second to deal with this Armageddon Imp, because um, that's a poison ranged attack, and I think Melkishar will be the best person at dealing a ton of damage. I have taken quite a lot of damage on this side as well, and I've got a few units that I want to, to try and wipe out. Um, maybe I should just back off, I think, from this protector drone and uh, let it come to me. So if it now comes out, um, it will be at fairly low defense. It's not got great defense in Swamp, um, see only 20%, so if I can force it to fight there then I think I should be alright. Okay, so then the next thing is to get people into position so that they can fight the Imp, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to bring my healer. I want to get rid of this Razor Bird over here. Can you be killed? No, you can't. Good. All right. Yeah, you just go in for the attack. Lovely amount of damage. We've got the option of a Dryad or a Forest Spirit. The Forest Spirit, I think, is is a is just a much better unit. It gets immunity to poison, plague, drain. Um, its its movement is better. It's got the Sylvan Spark ability. It's not as damaging in ra range as the Dryad is, um, but it's it's a very good unit, so a lovely up to one of those. Um, still lawful, unfortunately. And then, still want to finish this one off. Can this guy do it? Unlikely. Um, so okay, I'm gonna send this this, this uh, Thunderbird, this blah, I'm gonna send this Spectre Scythe up to try and do the job. Easy money. All right. Now everyone else, you, um, no one else here is 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 this Archer is in range if um if I move out with Arathan. No one else really is, um, including these these imps. So it's fairly safe bet for Arathan, Arathan to come out um, and attack in melee. He could now. Hmm. No. He's, he's not quite close enough to a level to allow him to do that safely, unfortunately. So I won't do that. I'll use this. Wraith to do a bit of damage. It's not quite a kill. It does mean that you can come in and hopefully get the kill if you get just three hits. Nope, no kill. Um, Erethan could get the kill though. 
No, you just need one hit here. There we go. Okay, so Aerithin can either become a great bow, 47 hit points, precision bow attack, with always a 50% chance to hit, it's like marksman but less good, um, or a slayer, where the melee attack becomes better. Um, I'm going to go for the slayer option, and I just accidentally clicked that, but it is the one I was going to go for, because basically he's got the strong ability, um, he's basically now morphed into essentially a melee unit, and he has more hit points, and those hit points are going to be absolutely crucial later on. Hmm. Alright, so Malkesha, you should be coming over here, ready to take out the BBEG. Uh, what should you be doing? I'm going to be back a bit. So Erethin or these wraiths, one of them, that some of them are going to get attacked by this long moment. Not too worried about that. You can't reach anyone. You can't reach anyone. Um, this is this is okay. This is fine, as the dog in the house on fire says. I could even bring Fellow the Elvish Marshal down here, just because. Well, you know, if you're on bad terrain and. It, it does get 60% defense here, that's the only thing that slightly worries me about the Armageddon in, in hills. What happens to Galas if I move Galas here? Can you get... no, look, if you, so now, if the Protector Drone wants to attack Galas, it's going to have to come out into the swamp. And it could deal quite a lot of damage, but actually I'm okay with that. So I'm going to send Fellor over this way as well, because I think Fellor is going to be more useful here than he is against the other units. I don't have money for reinforcements. Um, you stay where you are. You can come down here. And now we're in a good position, I think, to weather the attack from the Armageddon in. Now, of all the things that I was and wasn't expecting, I very, very definitely wasn't expecting um, the Armageddon Imp to not kill that bat. Now, the yellow units have, um, have, mu have formed up behind it. The Razorbird has joined the fight, but it's it's done so fairly ineffectually. Okay, so there's a Spectre here, which will come out if I start to make um, start to make a mess. I know pretty exactly what the strengths and weaknesses of Spectres are, um, and I think so. That's that's fine. Um, Malkesha is looking a bit wounded over here. Um, Erethan is looking very wounded, and if he dies, I lose the game. So he at least. Um, what defense do you have there? Um, not, not super high. Now you, unfortunately, the um, the terrain is against you there, so you probably lose that fight. I want to get rid of this guy, because this guy is cramping my style quite substantially. <clears throat> and the other person who's cramping my style is this bird. So... Forest Spirit. You do your magical forest thing. And now... I've got some good units here who can, uh, who can deal solid damage. <clears throat> it's a real shame you can't drain from these shucks, though. And it's also a real shame that this guy is here, because he's blocking me from getting as many units in on this battle as I would otherwise be able to. So I want um, Elinia to come in. Alright, so she's been poisoned. Um, but that's okay. 
she can go for strength three, the thorns, the magical draining ranged attack, um, or she can go for shielding, which gives a slight increase to arcane resistance. Um, not useful right now. Right now, I think the hit points are going to be the most useful thing again, so I'm going to go for strength three. All right. And the uh, Armageddon Imp has taken some damage, not a vast amount. It's also, um, because it's chaotic, it is quite badly negatively affected by that. Because, as you can see, um, I mean, it's it's on the, um, it, it's in this mountainous terrain, but uh, uh, it's, yeah, the, the chaos damage is, is quite large to its, to its attacks and abilities. Um, now I am in a situation where I could use the explosive arrow. Um, I'm not going to, because I think I'm going to be much better off doing other things. Um, now, I might lose Revelia if I take a bit of damage from the poison blade and then the guy decides to attack me. Um, what, the other thing I could do is I could try and slow him, and since I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him this turn, that might actually be my best bet. Um, unfortunately, Sothenia is not the most accurate, so let's see if she can do this. Yeah, she can. She's taken some damage though, so that's not, not great. Okay. So Big Mal is going to come in, do some Chill Tempest damage. And now that Armageddon Imp is looking very badly wounded, but unfortunately, the only spot where I can still come in and attack it is around here. And if I go there, then I'm going to get a lot of attacks myself. Like, really a lot of attacks. But my next priority now, I think, is to try and kill this gut wrencher him. So I've been poisoned. And I've only done 20 damage. Hmm, not brilliant. Especially since I still need to take out this guy. I suspect actually what I should do here. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to use Felor to do that. And over here, I should use my Spectre. to do this. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, so not bad in fact that I'm tempted to use a normal ghost to try and get the kill here, because if that works, you'll, I'll get another, another level two, another beautiful level two unit. Yeah, there we go. So I've got a shadow now. Which is what I said I wanted. And indeed is what I wanted. And indeed, now, Scythe, the spectre, can come in. It's not the kill. Not quite the kill. Um, so then the question is whether to use this wraith. Um, like I say, um, that that there is a is a dangerous position. Um, I will get some damage dealt to me, um, and it would be a shame to lose. Maybe I should use this bat. The bat can't do it, and it will also get drained. So yeah, I'll use the wraith, and I might lose the wraith as well. Master, no! We still have the Lich left to deal with. Okay, I mean, these guys are rubbish. Don't care about them. Um, I'm worried about the Spectre. I'm worried about this... Um, a bit worried about this Necrophage. Don't know if this guy's going to come in. If he does, that could be bad. Um, and I'm worried about this guy, because he does arcane damage. Um, but nevertheless, that notwithstanding, time for some berserk attacks on this, uh, 
Perfect. Didn't even need Berserk. Time to attack this guy. Alright, not great damage. Don't really want to do that. I'm going to wait for you to get another level before you try that one. Um, but I can bring you over here. And if I bring you to a certain point... Yeah, so if you go there, you can't be attacked. This bat... It's not super obvious what to do with it. Maybe I should at this point sacrifice it in order to try and protect the ray. I also don't really want the enemy lining up on these walls. That wouldn't be brilliant for my for my purposes either. Um, so maybe actually the best thing to do with this bat is to go even further forward. Nah. No, I've got enough arcane casters here that I don't need to worry about the walls too much. So I'm going to put this bat here. If it dies, fine. Um, and then finally, Igor stays where he is so he can get the full 10 health next turn. Good performance from the bat. Wow! Okay. Huh. I usually sound pretty unlucky as far as the random number generator is concerned, but that was glorious. And it looks like finally... It looks like finally the blue player, uh, the purple player, has run out of, of money, which is nice. Um, so, need to be careful about this forefather. The forefather didn't come out, even though it could have done. Um, so first things first is to get this spectre out of the way. Um, can I do that with a bat? That would be funny, and then this bat would level. Yes, alright, I've got a blood bat. Um, so then, Malkesha, I want you to deal your damage. And right, and now these defensive walls really serve to disadvantage purple rather than me. Okay, I'm gonna clear up at the back first. All right, Galas. And the Dread Bat, you head down this way. Um, you get a little bit of health and stay behind so that you don't get to... I mean, actually, I'm not really worried. I, I think you could actually defeat any of these people in single combat now with your berserkness and your health. Um, but still need to be careful. Maybe if you stay there, that would be wise. But I need to move some other people up onto these ramparts. And I'd also quite like to get rid of this necrophage. So I think I'm going to use spectres for that purpose. Um, if you stand here, the only units that can deal real damage to my spectres are... Um, I mean, I'm not too worried about the soulless. They can deal some, but it's not terrifying. Um, if there's a lot of them, but that's not really enough. The, the forefather is the real, um, the real threat here. Good. And the shadow gets the kill. Now it's possible that the shadow will die as a consequence of that. I'm not very good at keeping shadows alive. And what I want to do now is move someone up onto these ramparts who will have decent defense there. How about... 
how about you, Igor? You're still a bit badly wounded. Um, this forest spirit doesn't have any better defense there than anywhere else. Just so that this, just so that he doesn't get overwhelmed, I'm gonna actually put Lady the Spectre down this side. And now there is an, also another Spectre here, but that Spectre is not going to be triggered this turn. Neither is this Ancestor over here. Um, there's no huge advantage to me running in here and losing units. We're near enough to the uh, the final stages of the campaign that I hope you know that I hope, I hope this isn't going to be a a theme. So then the real question is, is now is just who to put here on this wall next to Malkashar, because I want to put someone there. I, want, I don't want the enemy to take it. Um, and I think the answer is maybe this Wraith? But this Wraith... I mean, this Wraith has just made incredible progress. You can come and join the party. As can you. But I need someone up on the walls. Okay, so maybe against my better judgement, maybe I'm going to put the forest spirit there. Ah, oh, that's rough. I'd rather lose the forest spirit than lose Igor. And, and it's probably more likely, so I'll do that. You stay where you are. Um, It's tempting to, to come out here and take this house, um, because I can, but I'm not going to. You come there, you stay where you are, you stay where you are, you come over here. And I'm just hoping that I don't lose anyone um, in, in defense here, other than... I mean, the, the person I'm most likely to lose, I think, is probably the Shadow. All right. Yeah, they're going for the shadow. That's big damage here from the forefather, and down it goes immediately. But see, so the rest of Purple's units aren't really able to do anything more about this. Okay, let's get these guys out of the way. First things first, get the forefather out of the way, and I can do that with Malkishar. Good. I mean, you're actually uh, <laughs> close to a level, I say. You're, you're only um, just under 100 HP, 100 XP away from a level. Well, that is actually something. Um, right, now I want to steamroller against these uh, these soulless a little bit. There are ghasts here, they could come out next. They can and will. What do you want to do, Slashy? Might as well come forward. You won't be any use back there. You should try and kill, or at least badly damage, this necrophage. Necrophages, I think, they must have some resistance against Pierce that I'm not quite aware of. Yeah, 30% resistance against Pierce. It doesn't make any obvious sense about why but um, such is the way of the world. I can move a spectre around here. That was pretty bad. And because I can't drain from any of these units, I'm a little bit worried about that. Now, if I don't move two squares forward, I won't trigger this spectre, and I think I probably shouldn't. Because what I really just want to do is get rid of these first few 
soulless. Keep you in the background. Are you getting leadership? Or are you just that good against... Yeah, I guess you must just be that good against Solus anyway. Alright. Am I going to lose Scythe here? I could lose Scythe, because I'm, I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get a bit swarmed. I think I might run interference with this remaining bat. Maybe with both remaining bats. I want to put someone on this wall. So that they can defend both Malkeshar and Alinea. And now I think Igor is probably the best bet for that. Nothing should trigger this spectre. Okay. I'm gonna move the blood bat over to this village. And this normal bat is, I think, going to come and stand here on the torch. Can't be reached by the spectre, can be reached by everyone else, and does block the way, so someone will have to kill the bat if they really want to kill Scythe in this instance. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, this guy can get round to attack Erethan, which isn't brilliant, but won't Shouldn't be able to kill him, I think, unless he's got a very, very bad impact defense, which he hasn't. Hmm. I could just put my dread bat somewhere as well. First of all, you go here. You could come down there. Um, there's not that many scary units down this way. Um, so that's probably not too terrible an idea. Since you do a ton of fire damage. You're not that strong, though. Hmm. Oh, I'm just going to put... Hmm. Don't want to lose you. But then again, I've got to use you as well, so... Okay, still nothing triggering this spectre. And I think we're good to go. Right, zombie bat. But now, interestingly... Oh, down goes my blood bat. This zombie bat is actually blocking... Um, it's actually preventing anyone from getting to Scythe. So that was actually really nice for me. Next thing to do is to kill this, these, kill these ghasts. Um, and one of them hasn't even bothered to come out yet, so I could just run in kill it with Malkesh Shah, but my only concern is that I still haven't triggered these purple units at the back. The Ghasts really are a very nasty unit, and I can't get any health back if I attack them. So in other words, you know, this seems smart, but I'll, I might lose my very, very powerful Spectre if I do that. Just gonna stall. <clears throat> While you're here, oh no, these these thunderbirds unfortunately are very powerful. So maybe Erathan. and you. Okay, that's that dealt with. And again, I'm not going to advance. I'm actually going to do the opposite of advance. OK, 
going to use Malkashar to do a little bit of damage there. Going to move a tad forward with Elenia. And come around here. Easy kill. You're going to go back and get some healing, but first... health more than anything else right now. You can't do anything useful. You can keep attacking this ray. You can't do anything useful. You can't do anything useful. You'll come out. I want you to come out. Where can you get healing while at the same time not being in danger? I think probably let's put Galas here, because I don't so much mind if Galas takes damage. Keep you here. And then, and then we're good. All right. I promise I will move out soon, but I just need to get these gaths into a position where I can reasonably kill them and not be distracted from behind. Okay, that was predictable. That's fine. You'll get cured of poison, and then you'll have to run back and take a long constitutional. Um, what I do now need to do is to trigger some of these units from the back to come out. It's not going to be daytime again, is it? Yeah, it's just we're just stuck in the first watch of the long dark, unfortunately. Um, nothing about the campaign tells you that it's eternal darkness at this point. Um, it's, it's a bit of a cheesy mechanic. Okay, Malkesha, you come down here. Get a house, because I don't want Purple to be hiring new units. Um, Elinia, you stay where you are. You just run back a bit, for now. You come down, take advantage of this position. That didn't seem like a 70% chance of hitting. Never mind. Now, whoever goes here... Oh. Well, okay. Okay, Blady's looking quite badly hurt, and if Blady now gets attacked by this spectre, that could be the end. And Blady could also be attacked by this warrior spirit. So that's sad. Um, so I can put Galas there to reduce the chances of that happening. Anyone here can attack Galas, I'm not really afraid of that happening. Um, or maybe Galas can even move one further forward. Um, and I'll put you here. Um, Scythe, um, you're the best. You go there. I don't think, um, I really don't think, they will be able to kill both of these guys. Um, there, okay. So now, you, they could attack, they could both attack. So I think, and then I think the other thing that I want to do now um, is just to move this Dread Bat so that it's here, so that they can't get in on Spite. Well, maybe not the Dread Bat, maybe actually... Igor can come here. Can anyone else reach? Can you reach? No? Good. 
Not you, not you, not you. Good. Okay, in that case, I'm going to put Igor in the forest. So then they can't get in... Well, it doesn't make any difference. I don't know what I'm thinking. It doesn't make any difference. Hmm... If I protect, if I protect Blady like that, then I'm going to lose my bat. So I'm going to do that, and then this guy can come round. So it's fine. You move to here. You'll be a defense, and then you, fellow the Elvish Marshal. Come somewhere where you are definitely, definitely, definitely not going to get attacked by either the Spectre or the Forefather. In fact, maybe it's just best you stay where you are. Yeah, you stay where you are for now. Erethan, um, come down here and get some healing. All right. Inching forward here. Oh, yes. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Not Scythe! You were my best Spectre! That was so close as well! Okay, well, I've got another Spectre in training. And, um, as if to make the point... Okay, well, obviously you're very intimidated. Who else actually wants experience at this point? Blady, you're close to another level. Um, actually, Revelia, you are as well. And I don't want you on the front line, so maybe it would be good if you come back here and get the kill. Okay. Forefather and... Ghast, and... There are some... So whoever comes and stands here um, is going to be subject to quite some attacks, including potentially from Malhecuba himself. Um, kind of feel like that's just something one would have to take. Maybe I can approach from this side, and that would be a more cautious way of going. Yeah, I'm more, more happy with that idea. So how far can you reach? You can reach, um, if you go there... Then only Malhecuba and this protector drone are in the line of fire. And everyone else can form up behind. And actually, Gallus, you too can come and stand here. So then you can be there. There's so many guards here. It's really quite scary. Well, I, I didn't even I didn't think that Malhecuba could do that or would do that, but now that Malhecuba has done that and has missed with almost with all but one of his attacks, um, he's in a perfect position to be taken out. And so, I don't know if we'll have to keep fighting this mission if all enemy leaders are defeated. No, I won't. Good. All right. So I can just um, I can just do the brutal thing and go straight in with as many units as I can, who are likely to... As long as I kill him... Um, so, 68, 78... Um, now, either of them could kill each other. 
Um, so that is risky to go straight in. What about you? No, you can't kill a linear. Not in one hit, anyway. So I'm going to give this one... Alright, Malkishar is... Malkishar is ready to deal, dish out some more damage. Um, Blady could do with the kill. Today is not the day you will see me fall, heretics. Send my regards to our master. If you can get to the heart alive, that is. Damn it all! He did it again! Why do you keep allowing this to happen, Gallas? Hey, I am not the spellcaster here. Alright, got bonus gold of 29 for the next campaign, and that was pretty good. My only slight sadness is that I lost some powerful units there, but I think as you get towards the end of this campaign, that does become inevitable. So if we look at the statistics, loss is 4. I lost a Blood Bat, a Shadow, Bat Vampire Bat, yeah, fine. And most crucially, I lost the Spectre Scythe, um, who was the most experienced unit, I think, in my entire army, other than the leaders. Um, and that was a real shame, because it didn't even need to happen. It was so close to not happening. Um, all right, but, uh, but I can live with that. I can work with that. And such is life. And that is the end of part two. That is the end of scenario 17. See you next time.